DDC 2.12 comes with a couple of new features. Um, fast DDC being one of them. Uh, the idea behind this is a, a pre-compiled firmware. Everything has been set up according to a wiring diagram. And um, it's basically just a file that you can drag drop onto your Pico board. Um, it's got a couple of different uh, standard setups. The simplest one being just buttons. Most complex one has uh, dual clutches, uh, six encoders, a button matrix, as well as uh, the encoders being able to set your um, your byte point for the clutches and to swap between uh, up to 12 presets of byte points. Um, just to show you how simple this is, you can download the uh, UF2 file directly from the uh, Gitbook manual. Um, I'll just plug in my Pico board. I'll just hold the boot cell button, plug it in. It will boot as a flash drive. I'll just drag the file into it. And uh, there we are. Now we have a joystick controller. I'll just wire this wire to ground and the other pin I'll just drag across. Drag across the other pins. You'll see all these buttons firing off. Um, so it's really that simple. Another big addition in uh, 2.12 is the DDC plugin. You'll find it in this plugin folder and you'll just drag that into the SimHub main folder and we'll start up SimHub. Um, this plugin now is kind of standalone um, compared to, I think, the, the same fe features that were available uh, in the iRacing plugin before. Um, can activate it like this put it on the left menu if you want and and the reason for making this plugin standalone i think is is just to make it a bit more available uh easier to use because i think it's kind of an uh, underutilized feature of ddc um for, from what i can see in uh, in the discord and, and the forums i don't see many people using this part of um, of the software and it's uh it has a lot of potential to, to do some cool stuff. Um, what it does is uh, it grabs uh, the inputs of the controller, the joystick axis, but as well as the byte point settings um, and, and um, the clutch outputs and uh, 30 bits of settings data that you can customize yourself in the software. Um, so you're actually, you have 30 on-off settings that you can uh, that you can program yourself. You'll get this into SimHub, and from there the plugin will make properties from all of this. Uh, we can find them here under DDC, and these are all the the bits called B1 to B15 and R1 to R15, and uh, some of them are reserved for special functions, and uh, they have their own properties as well. And, and you can use all this to make some flashy stuff in your dashboard um, or LED profiles and such uh, to really make um, a more sophisticated integration between your controller and DDC. First of all, just select your controller. Uh, right now, I don't have any DDC controller wired up, so I'll just hook up my, my uh, Solpex Spectra wheel, which is running DDC. Um, after a few seconds, Simo will detect the wheel. Here we are. We'll just select that one. We'll get some information about the wheel and it will load up the settings from the wheel. So here are the, here are the 30 bits of data. Here's the byte point preset settings. And um, I'll just fiddle with the wheel a bit. You'll see I can change the byte point here. I can change the presets. Right, you'll see the data bits jumping back and forth. Um, I got my clutch inputs. Oh, right now, actually, I'm a throttle and brake. I'll change to clutch. And so this here is more like an overview of, uh, of your controller and the properties is what you're gonna use 
to uh, to use this in your dashboard. Just a quick demonstration of how we use these properties for the Spectra wheel. We made our own uh, dashboard, and um, this dashboard uses many of these properties, like you have the pint point setting. You get it all on the screen. You can change your presets, right? For the Spectra, you can name these presets. Um, right, you can set your clutch settings, um, etc. So um, this is just like the tip of the iceberg. Um, it, it opens up a lot of possibilities to make some neat integration between uh, your controller and SimUp.